Hey, welcome back to the Victory 4x4 Garage. My name is Daryl. Today we're going to go over the Strike Front Bumper Install on our 100 Series Land Cruiser. This video is just a supplemental video to our general Strike Bumper Install, so go ahead and watch that video first. I'm just going to go over the differences on installing it on 100 Series. Pretty simple. Let's get started. So if you've watched the general Strike Install video, you want to get your bumper and your front crash bar off. And then we're going to do the specific instructions for the 100 series here. The first thing we're going to do is remove the factory tow hooks. We're going to do that with a 21 millimeter socket. And there's two bolts underneath for uh, each hook. In your hardware kit's going to be two of these little clip nuts here. They go on the top of the frame, so stick them in from the front. Um, it's going to be a tight squeeze. You're going to want a hammer for this. But those snap in like that, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. Go ahead and grab a friend and lift it into place. We're going to supply you with new metric hardware. Uh, it's going to be two bolts for each side. You go ahead and loosely install one with it up into place, just loosely for right now. Um, we get all the rest of the hardware and adjust it where we want it, then we'll tighten them all down. Go ahead and grab another 3 8 hex head bolt and a washer, and they're going to go in from the top into the clip nuts that you installed earlier. One on each side, just snug them up for now. We don't need to tighten them just yet. We're going to go ahead and install this tow hook support bracket now, where I guess it's not a tow hook support bracket anymore, it's a frame support bracket. Um, it goes up here like this on top of the winch plate and then where you remove the tow hooks. We're going to give you new hardware. Um, I'd recommend some anti-seize on these bolts when you're doing your install. Go ahead and just loosely thread these in right now. Just snug them up so you can move this bracket. All right, so we're going to give you uh, some more 3 8 bolts and washers and flange nuts. We're going to do two per side. These are going to go through the bracket that we just bolted onto the frame, down through the winch plate, and then a flange nut on the bottom. Um, currently, we're doing this through this front winch access hole, but most likely yours is going to have an uh, access port in the back for you to get to these nuts a little easier. Um, this works, it's just a little more difficult. So if you have a window on the back, lucky you. Um, if not, you can curse me out. I, I can take it, I promise. But go ahead and bolt these two bolts per side. Um, once you get these all bolted in, tighten these down tight with a 9 16 socket, and then you can tighten these underneath here with a 22 millimeter socket. Once you have all the bolts loosely installed, you can go ahead and tighten them up. Um, these bolts that we installed above the winch plate, tight on those, you're not going to get a torque wrench in there, it doesn't matter. Um, these lower tow hook bolts take to about 65 foot pounds. Um, the factory uh, bolts in the front of the frame here, I would go to 40 foot pounds with those. The top bolts that we supply, just tight with those. Uh, you don't want to go crazy with those since they go into those clip nuts. Um, and that's it as far as installing the bumper. Go ahead and wire your winch. Go ahead and wire your lights. If you have any questions about this install or any install here at Victory 4x4, give us a call, 269-459-8447, or email us at info at victory4x4.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.